Okay, welcome to another Orbiter 2010 video. And in this video, I'm actually going to address a question that's come up a few times in some recent videos. And that question is how to install add-ons. Uh, one of the most recent people to ask this question was uh, this guy. He says, please make a video on downloading add-ons. And what he means actually is how to uh, download and install those add-ons. So I'm assuming you've already got Orbiter 2010 itself downloaded and installed. If you don't have it downloaded, installed, and working, then obviously you'll need to do that and then come back to the video. For the sake of simplicity, I've installed Orbiter 2010, an extra copy, right here to my desktop. Uh, hopefully you have some file management skills and know where to, you want to put it on your computer, on the D drive, or wherever you want to put it. But for simplicity, I've got it here on the desktop. So make sure you've got it installed and make sure that you can run Orbiter EXE and actually get in and have a functional Orbiter. Now, to download add-ons, there's a few places that you can get add-ons from, and I'll put links to these in the description down below. <clears throat> One of the more popular add-on sites that I know of is orbithanger.com. Another one that you're going to probably go to is danstuff.com, and there's a, it's actually orbiter.danstuff.com. But again, I'll provide links down below. This is where you would get Orbiter Sound from, and the Universal Cars and Cargo, and uh, the UMMU, and then there's the altiaerospace.com website. This is where you would get the very popular XR2 Ravenstar and the XR5 Vanguard that I've featured in many of my videos. <clears throat> and to use most of these add-ons, you need an archive program, a program that can handle uh, compressed files like zip files and .rar files. A good program for that is 7-zip. Again, I'll provide a link to this down in the website or down in the description below. 7-zip is free. <clears throat> and it has a uh, good reasonable set of defaults once you install it. So that gives you some information for where to get some add-ons and then what you need in order to use those add-ons. A very popular add-on is Aerobrake MFD, so I'm going to address that one just to give a specific example. When we come into Aerobrake MFD, into that folder, you'll notice that there is a doc folder and there's a modules folder and there's the Orbit SDK and then there's also this which I'm not actually sure what that is, but essentially what we need to do in order to have a functional Aerobrake MFD is we need to copy these folders into our Orbiter directory. And the good, a good way to do that is to use that 7-zip program. So if we open the archive in 7-zip, then we can take these here, the doc and the modules, which is really all we need. We don't need the SDK. In this case, the SDK, that stands for Software Development Kit. And unless you're planning on doing development, then you don't need that. But we just need the doc and the modules. Then we'll hit Extract and we're going to extract it to that location. So we need to come to our desktop, hit Orbiter 2010, OK, OK. Now it just extracted the dock and the modules. Now if we come to our Orbiter 2010 directory and we run Orbiter, we can see here in the modules that we now have Aerobrake MFD available to us under miscellaneous. It wasn't there before, but it is now. So that add-on is now installed and we can enable it by checking the checkbox and to verify that it's working we can come to the scenarios checklist is a good one and go to quick start and then hit launch orbiter and this is just to make sure that the add-on was installed and working so we'll come over here hit select and we can see arrow break right here so that works A 
other add-ons are installed by running an executable instead of unzipping into the folder directly like the universal MMU it actually is an exe file and in order to install this add-on which we need in order to install the XR2 Ravenstar this is a requirement of this and whenever you install add-ons <coughs> you want to make sure you check the requirements notice here it says note the XR2 vessel requires Dan Steff's U MMU 2.0 and Orbiter Sound 3.5 so in order for the XR2 to work we have to install this add-on and this add-on and in theory we should do these first I, I don't think it actually matters but you know it's generally a good idea to install the requirements prior to installing the the other add-on that you actually want so in order to get the XR2 Ravenstar installed and working we're going to install Orbiter Sound so I'm going to say yes and it's asking me where I want to install sound and I want to put it here so I'm going to browse to my desktop select Orbiter 2010 hit OK and now I'm going to hit install Orbiter sound and now it's telling me that modules need to be activated and do I want to activate it yes I do and it says the installation is successful and it reminds me that it comes with its own configuration tool soundconfig.exe so we'll hit OK and we'll exit out of that now we need to install the universal MMU so we'll go ahead and double click on that say yes and again it's asking where we want to install it same thing go to our user desktop and then that directory and then we say install and yes it's done and we'll say yes it's just asking if I want to launch the patch utility and that's all done so we're done with that and now finally we can install the XR2 and we'll do it the same way we did arrow break we open the archive in 7-zip and this time we want to extract all of these to our Orbiter 2010 directory so I'm just gonna select all these hit extract then it's asking me where I want to install them to and we need to install it to the Orbiter 2010 directory so I hit OK OK now it's, now it's unzipping all those files and that's done now if I come back to my Orbiter 2010 directory and run Orbiter I can come into modules and see if there's anything I need to enable uh, there's not because it's already enabled Orbiter Sound now if I want to test the XR2 to make sure it's working I can come here to the XR2 directory pick any scenario we'll go ready for takeoff and hit launch Orbiter and you'll see that we now have welcome wow. aboard commander all systems nominal it's very loud we now have the XR2 installed whereas before we did not so that is the basic idea of installing add-ons you just simply go to the website download the add-on you want and then go into the add-on and just see what you have to do sometimes they will have a specific set of directions for installing the add-on but most of the time you just have to copy the files that came with the add-on into your Orbiter 2010 directory and the only important thing to know <coughs> is that when you copy the files the folders into the directory you need to make sure that it preserves the structure so here we've got a config folder a doc folder and a modules folder we need to make sure that when we copy these folders into Orbiter 2010 that it saves this structure all these folder names so we don't just want to copy the files 
we need the files and the folders. But a program like 7-Zip will do that. So that's the end of this video. Hopefully that will help you get some much-needed add-ons installed to your Orbiter 2010 installation.